Hey there, Bulldog Country. This week we're talking with junior forward Jade Miller on the UMD men's hockey team. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corrick flipped it in there. I follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. I'm Jade Miller. I'm a junior forward, number 26 for the UMD men's hockey team. This weekend, the dogs will go head to head against Miami, Ohio, where you swept back in January. What have you guys been doing to prepare for this series? Um, I think uh, one of the big aspects we've taken into uh, this weekend is uh, draws. We started back in Miami uh, in January where we kind of went on a streak where we've been uh, winning a lot of, lot of face-offs in our games. And now I think we're top 10 in the country with that. So that's something we've addressed. And um, it's a big, big factor in puck possession. So it's something we want to keep working at, getting better at. And with only two weekends away from NCHC playoffs, how important are the next two series in keeping that motivation and the consistency with going into playoffs? Yeah, we still haven't uh, locked up home ice yet, so that's that's our main goal right now. And um, especially this time of the year, we want to be playing our best hockey. So that's uh, that's added motivation right there. Um, playoffs right around the corner. So we want to make sure we're hitting our stride and uh, peaking at the right time. The Bulldogs are continuing to hold down the number three ranking in the USCHO poll. Having not gone above the fifth ranking all season, what is working so well that you guys have been so successful and so cons consistent this season? I think it's our D zone. Um, we're one of the best defensive teams in the country, and, and we have the best goalie in the country. And um, I think it starts starts back there. It gives us forwards a lot more confidence to play free and open, and obviously, um, you know, scoring some goals to help out our D as well. So, but like I said, yeah, it starts with D. Um, starts with faceoffs and um, just a, just a well structured D zone. Last year was a big year for you as a Bulldog with three season goals, 22 total appearances, and of course being part of the national championship. How would you describe last season overall and how you grew as a player? Yeah, um, obviously I think I took a big step last year uh, from, from my freshman year, getting to play in those, um, you know, the NCAA tournament and then the Frozen Four, uh, you know, I was able to uh, develop as a player and um, just confidence wise, I think it helped me uh, immensely. Obviously, you've been asked this a million times, but we like to ask each player in this segment, what was that experience like uh, going to national championship two years in a row and actually winning it last year, just in your second season here at UMD? What has that experience been like so far? It was unbelievable. I think um, everybody's goal, or our goal at least, is for each class to leave with the national championship. And obviously, we didn't get that done our freshman year, so there was kind of a sour taste and added motivation to come back and do it again. Um, obviously winning it in St. Paul, it felt like a home game, 20,000 people cheering for us. So it, we couldn't have uh, really had a better ending than, you know, how we got into the tournament and then it being in our backyard and, and doing as well as we did. So yeah, it was a dream come true. It's something I think we all, we all come here for at, at UMD and um, it's something we have, uh, have at the focal point this year again. And following the last two seasons, obviously you guys kind of have a target on your back. What is this season like, being that you guys are the current national champions? Yeah, it's it's obviously a little different. Um, we we got to know that every every night, uh, teams are going to bring their best to, to knock us down, and um, you know that's just added motivation for us. Like we said earlier, every team's going to be gunning for us and giving us their best, so it uh, it raises the level that we need to play at. And having lost some key senior leaders and players last year, how would you describe the team dynamic this season and what kind of leadership role have you found yourself assuming? Yeah, I think our leaders have done a good job this year, upperclassmen, obviously. Uh, they had great leaders uh, their sophomore, our freshman year, and then um, obviously our leaders last year uh, led by example, and, and we kind of followed suit. Um, obviously for myself, just trying to show kind of the younger guys what it takes uh, day in and day out, just try to be an everydayer. Um, so that's that's the biggest thing. Come every day, ready to practice, and uh, you know, follow that into games. And you are originally from Minto, North Dakota, and we always have people in the office asking, how common is it that people just assume that you're from Minot, North Dakota, and that it's some? Sort yeah, it's it's always um, it's always brought up. Yeah, um, people have even told my mom that she's misspelled her hometown when when signing me up for hockey tournaments and and stuff like that. So obviously, yeah, it's just the T and the O that people uh, switch around and. 
a lot of people don't know where Minto is and Minot's obviously a lot bigger so it kind of gravitates towards people thinking that it's it's Minot but um yeah I think it's kind of like beating a dead horse at this point um no one really seems to get it right so it is what it is at this point. So what was it that inspired you to come to UMD from Minto, North Dakota and how has the experience been so far? Yeah um growing up obviously 20 minutes uh north of North Dakota I was familiar with all the WCHA schools back in the day and then um, into the NCHC and, and Duluth always always been something that I've, I've been attracted to. I love the city and then um, obviously their coaching staff and the style of play they have here I thought fit me really well. And obviously the guys are, are, guys are a perfect fit and I couldn't have found a better place to come to school.